Hello there guys and today we have another episode of who to buy and who to sell and so in this episode we do have West Brom and I would say this is probably one of the best episodes for a team that doesn't have a lot of money to spend and so I uh, definitely wait around on who to buy in this episode so um, like, like I say we will go into the squad and so we have uh, Mithil or Myhill, I uh, don't know how you pronounce his name but um, we have him in goalkeeper just because uh, Ben Foster is injured if we can find him now yeah, Ben Foster, he's injured. We'll uh, check how long he's injured for in a minute, but he is injured at the moment, so we swapped him out with this guy. Then, on the on the people in Dubai, we do have a new right-back, a centre-back, and a left-back because of their age. But we do keep one of the centre-backs, I think it's him. Yeah, we do keep him in centre-back because he's only 22, which is not too bad. And then this guy is 29, so we're going to be swapping him out. Um, then in centre-mid, we do have two centre-mids on um, the, the buy list. But um, he is 25, so we can keep him. 24, we're keeping him. Um, right mid, he has um, 26, so we might as well keep him. Not too bad. And he has 77 sprint speed, which is not too bad. And left mid, we do have this guy with 81 pace and 92 acceleration. And he is only 21, so his overall might go up quite a bit. Actually, he might go to about 78, maybe 79. Uh, maybe even higher than that, but I'm just guessing around that. And he can play on the right, ming, uh, right wing as well, sorry. So he can play there as well. And so then we do have Odin Wingy, who I am planning to sell. And then maybe put someone else at centre attacking mid, or unless uh, one of these can play centre attacking mid. Oh, that's perfect. So, um, a right mid, he can play centre attacking mid if you need him to. This guy, he cannot. But um, what I was hoping to do maybe is play one of these centre mids, uh, well, centre defensive mid, sorry, uh, centre attacking mid. But if this guy can play centre attacking mid, you could probably play him there and then play somebody else at right mid. Um, defensive mid, banded over right mid. We've got some here, we've got Brunt, and um, this dude. And so you could play maybe play. Brunt at right mid, but we do have a um, a couple of more centre mids on the um, who to buy. Then we have Lukaku, who has been playing really well for West Brom this um, season while he's been out on loan, and so I definitely play him because of his strength. Look at that his specialities, uh, strength. Let's show you strength now. We come across. Where are we now? There we go. 88 strength and 83 sprint speed. It's like a perfect striker. You know, strength so he won't get pushed off and get 83 sprint speed so he can um, has a little bit of pace to you know catch up to those balls and run away from the defenders. So um, that's the team we have so far. So now we'll move on to who to sell or who's recommended. I'm going to transfers sell. Right, so X, X. And uh, by the way, Lukaku is on loan, so you obviously have to go back to Chelsea after this. But we could maybe do is uh, maybe try and um, buy him next season from Chelsea you know you could probably offer because uh, you do get 6.5 transfer budget so if you do like him then uh, next season when he goes back you could probably buy him off Chelsea see what he say and so yeah um, this is the transfer list it is pretty big and um, this guy Odin Wingy is worth 4 million so a lot of these people are worth quite a bit you know 2, 1, 1.5 and um, 4 million 2.1, 1.2, 2.6 you know, all that will add up um, quite a bit. So we just add it up here. Um, don't forget the tax as well. Well, the tax sort of thing like that. So you got two, um, six, eight, ten, eleven. So that's about eleven million. So we probably chop that down because you know, say like you sell like a player for like five million, probably get about three point five from. So you probably get about seven million or something like that just for all of these players, which is not too bad. Then you got to sell these players like he's worth like just about a million. Uh, for, you know, three hundred seventy-five. So you did sell all these. You'd be on about. I'd say about 11 million over just over that, maybe even higher actually. Yeah, you might on quite higher, but you'd be on quite a high wage budget actually. So if you do sell all these players, so if you can sell them all, definitely uh, recommend you to sell all them. Um, then obviously that'll get you your wage up as well, which is uh, which is definitely a need. Uh, now we're going to who to buy. So um, a lot of you obviously the age of the players on the team. Um, I recommended this left back here, who is on loan at the moment, but you probably could buy him. Um, I remember I did, a, I did a PSG career and I did buy this guy, so he is worth 2.2. .2. So I'd offer about 2.5 for him, and you probably would get him. Uh, and then there's this guy who um, I did, uh, I'd, I'd loan him. I won't buy him because he's worth uh, 4.3. You probably won't have enough money straight away. Uh, I'd definitely loan him. See how he feels. If you do enjoy him, then like I say, try buy him next season. But I definitely loan him straight away. Then we have this guy who. Um, has 72 sprint speed, which is not too bad. He has 84 strength. And the reason why I picked these players, like this guy and this guy and all these in midfield, is because of their overall. The overall will go up. So if you do enjoy these players, um, you can buy them in the future. And I would definitely try buy them now, because if you buy them now, when the overall does go up, 
Say he's worth about 2.2 million. In the future, he may be able, he may sell for about 10 million. You know, when he gets to his highest overall, which is about 85, maybe a bit higher than that. So you know, it's definitely try buy him now, at, you know, a low price, and then sell him on in the future. Uh, now just loan this guy, see how he feels, and then may, may buy him. Um, it's just up to you, but I definitely know these two will work well. Um, then you got Pogba and Dos Santos, who I did do in the last episode for I think it's Sunderland or maybe Stoke. I'm not too sure. But um, these two midfielders are really good. Like I say, if you do enjoy these once again, definitely go ahead and buy yourself one of these because they do look like players that will improve over over the years because of obviously they're on loan. So Pogba will definitely go up, and so will he. So if you do get a chance, if you do enjoy him, if you do get a chance to actually loan him, see how they feel. If you do enjoy him, then. Um, by him next season so um, there you go guys this is the end of the episode here if you did enjoy it guys then leave a like down below also subscribe if you haven't already get to see these um, every two days can I upload this one day then Minecraft the next and this next day you know just to keep it sort of daily you know keep both series going out and then maybe in the future I'll upload both in the same day but for now you know it's every other day so if you do want to subscribe um, after this league we will move on to the Spanish league not the Italian league the German league so on and so forth so we'll do that from then onwards then I might do a new series called the um, January upgrades where you know all the upgraded players and stuff like that on all the new moves um, the new teams we'll see how they appeal uh, but we'll see in the future when it comes to the end of the series but for now um, I am uploading this so subscribe leave a like leave a comment and I will see you all in the next episode guys so